While rough framing doesn't require the precision of finished carpentry, it is important to keep all repetitive cuts consistent. This will not only help ensure the walls are square, it will also help streamline the construction process. To begin building an exterior wall, lay the previously marked plates on the floor, spacing them far enough apart to accept the studs. Be sure to position the top plate furthest from the wall's eventual location. This will allow the assembled wall to be tilted up into the mounting position. Next, check the drawings for the finished ceiling height dimension. For example, if the plan calls for a finished height of 8 feet, cut the studs to 92 and 3 quarters inches. The addition of the top and bottom plates will increase wall height to 95 and 3 quarters inches. With another inch and a half gained once the exterior walls are erected and the second top plate is added. This works out to a finished wall frame height of 97 and 1 quarter inches. Once the half inch ceiling and 3 quarter inch flooring are installed, the finished ceiling height will be reduced to the required 96-inch specification.